Ed Sullivan show, there would be a guy that used to come on that had plates that he would spin on top of poles. And, and you'd all go nuts because, it, you know, you have like 60 of these things, you keep putting more up. And painting is like that. Every painting is like that. You've got all these things spinning. And to be able to do that well uh, requires this kind of fine training that takes so long to learn. And you just have to keep doing it and doing it and doing it so you can get better at that very complicated process. And when you jump into this painting, you're going to balance all this stuff. Moving my whole perspective to this thing called the West Coast, trying to do what I did in the North, which is finally come to a place where you kind of understand the rhythms and you understand what the landscape's all about, and then get that internalized, then be able to, to paint it with an ease that can touch whatever it is that I've been sensing in the landscape. I'm drawn to the, the West Coast of, my, of Vancouver Island, where I'm living. The trees are pushing as far as they can towards the edge of the land and the, o the ocean and the, and the weather patterns are blowing them. So it, it just, it's, it's a very extreme place right there at that, that nexus point between the incoming weather and the last part of any habitable land for plants. And right there is a whole lot of drama going on. My mother recognized I had an artistic bent and uh, from the age of four, she began to work on me and she herself was very gifted. And she shot me out to looking at what artists do. And so I got a big education, we are always taken to art galleries, big education in, in various artists and looking at how they did it. Advancements in your art, going in the direction you wanna go, take phenomenal amounts of time. And you'll take side routes you come back and go and miss it, go back that way and come back, and then one day you'll say, I found it, and what you've found is one small thing. And then you'll go for another dry, but you've got to keep working. How to get there, how to grab that thing that you want to express, it's a complicated mess. And it's almost like a melody that you put into color and at the end of it I stand back and look at it and sometimes I'll sit in my studio and say did I do that because for me this is almost like something beautiful that comes along like a butterfly that you see in the field and you hold on to it you don't want to kind of fool around with it too much because all the beautiful stuff comes off <laughs> if you talk too much about it I just like to appreciate it for what it is and I don't hold on to them too too much